you know, like the kind oh, of movie okay, about no that, worries. you know? Okay, here's the thing, okay? Here's the thing. What did we learn from this? One, you literally do not need a dating coach, okay? You don't. They didn't say a single fucking thing that was helpful in this entire video. As a matter of fact, they hurt the process. Now, what I mean by that is attraction is a complicated subject, okay? And there is someone out there for you, no matter how you feel. So as long as you are being yourself and you have your hobbies and you find someone with a similar interest, you will click. So stop being so fucking nervous, okay? And uh, don't get sad when things don't work out. Please stop being a dating coach right now. I don't need you. <laughs> but like, I gotta say like, I would love to go on a second date or something. I'll show you my Animal Crossing town. Yes, I'm, I'm super hyped. <laughs> How was that? <laughs> I enjoyed myself a lot. That was fun. You did great. Yeah, honestly, I was having fun watching you guys, so you must have been having a lot of fun. Yeah, it was great. You just dove into it. <laughs> I, I think it was pretty, pretty good, honestly. What did you learn through this experience? Just find a 100% compatible woman on your blind date. I mean, how many instances do you have, like, be dating blind dates anyway? Like, that's not a normal thing that people do regardless. You already have, like, some level of compatibility on, a, on your dating resume that you obviously uh when you when you swipe with people you know what i mean so <sighs> okay i think it's time boys it's time to fucking uh get into chat half of you have two personality traits well, weave course, and liberal you know, calm down you need a perfect storm to find I'm a weave slow down you know, don't overthink myself you know so yeah this is really this is, this is really good, you know? Do you know if so he on the second day with you? I think, yeah. I think Did you do Mandalorian Season 2? Yeah, I finished it. It was so good. Mandalorian Season 2 was the opposite of Dave Season 2. Dave Season 2 was, like, sad after how good Season 1 was. I felt kind of bad about it. Still good, but... Mandalorian Season 2 is very good. Very, very good. Yeah, she will. Or at least, you know what? At the very least, I'm, I'm manifesting it. At the very Dave least. Dave was never good. Dude, you are literally the dumbest person in this chat. Okay? Dave season one is a masterpiece, dude. Shut the fuck up. It's so good. It's so fucking good. If you like Dave, you'll love Atlanta. I love Atlanta. Mando season two was really, really, really good, though. You have any advice for first Tinder messages? Not really. Dave is booty dog. What the fuck? Why is this Atlanta versus Dave? Yes, Atlanta is better than Dave. Are you guys dumb? Yes. You know, you can enjoy two different things, right? Like one is a, one is a significantly more artistic uh, approach to complicated subjects than the other. What the fuck? I mean, Dave has its moments too, but like Atlanta is top to bottom. Atlanta is like, I don't know, top to bottom art. Because Dave is a whole ripoff of Atlanta, literally. It is not, dude. What the fuck? Dude, you guys are so weird. Why? Because it's like, Lil Dicky, uh, who's a rapper, like, growing up and blowing up. Dave is just Atlanta for white people, both pretty good. Dave is just white Lana? I don't think so. Unless you guys watch Atlanta for, uh, you know... Donald Glover's journey rather than uh, the, the, all the other stuff that's going on. <laughs>